Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Today, Monday, May 23rd, 2020. Number of trials are starting today, it being a Monday, one of which is the We Build the Wall trial of Shea. Uh, the others have settled, Colfage, others have settled. Shea is going on trial today, and we're going to be covering it. Um, it may have already, they're just probably doing the, the, the preambles. There's a few other trials, and you'll, you'll be hearing from us on that. Now, over the weekend, we actually did a, kind of a deep dive into a a court case down in Philadelphia, in the Eastern District of Pennsylvania. It's a case involving Republic Bank. There's a guy called Vernon Hill. He's been in banking for a while. He did commerce, this sort of ostensibly long hours, consumer-friendly bank. Anyway, he's been running Republic, and there's now an insurgent group of shareholders and directors that want to take it over, and that's conventional. What grabbed my, in my mind is that the, behind the insurgent uh, directors is a guy called George Norcroft. He's been running Camden, New Jersey for like decades. <coughs> kind of a political boss. The classic anecdote is that uh, he sent to a landlord of a building in, in Camden, an office building that had a city tenant, uh, 10 tickets to a fundraiser. The guy said, I'd like to go, but it's a bit steep. Next thing, the city agency stopped paying its rent because that's how it works. So the question is, is this really the way banking should be run? I mean, I understand it's a free country, but uh, political bosses at a minimum. You could say more, but we'll leave it at that. So that's something that we're covering the case, but we may have more to say on that. Meanwhile, in other political sleaze news, not only is the United Nations entirely corrupt, they've done nothing on Ukraine, they've done nothing on Yemen, nothing on Cameroon, um, twice bribed by Chinese state firms, Antonio Guterres hiding his links to them, throwing inner city press out. But the U.S. mission has been in charge of the Security Council now 23 days. And I ask you, what has been accomplished. And I tell you, absolutely zero. Nothing but a bunch of good intentions expressed, no answers. There's a spokesperson there called Olivia Dalton. We've written her a number of questions, including a very specific question. Why did the missions people in the NGO committee block a, you know, particular groups without explanation, the same way that China does it based on Taiwan, which is in the news today? No answer at all. So the U.S. mission to the U.N., who do they work for? To be continued, we're gonna check it out.